up guys all right let's go through this tutorial for the boomerang effect that you've been seeing in uh, Instagram I'm going to show you how to do that in DaVinci Resolve first thing you want to do is to edit the clip that you have in my case I just have an aerial um, uh, bird's eye view of this building and then I just have it going go up then down then up then down and so forth so um, after you've done your edit um, what we're going to do here is to go in and uh, read time controls because what we want it to do is to actually have uh, a change in speed so it kind of gives that a that appearance that it's kind of going back and forth back and forth so uh, not only does it need to change direction but we want to change the speed so I typically go out about um, to start I usually start off with with uh, the regular speed and then go out about a minute or so so let's go about here and then I'm going to add a speed uh, speed point there okay and then in the middle we're gonna accelerate this to say 800 I usually go anywhere from 800 to maybe 1600 or 2000 percent depending on the clip and then at the end let's just pick a random place here where we're gonna add another speed point and we're gonna set that back to 100 so um, Let's reset that to 100. Okay. All right. So I think what I want to do here is you want it to be the beginning and the ending points to be about the same. So I'm going to move this over. All right. So that it's about the same duration. Okay. So it ends approximately where I want it to end, begins where I want it to begin, and then there's the speed ramp in the middle. All right. Now what we need to do is we want to duplicate this for it to return to its original position. You could just duplicate this and then reverse it. However, if you've got any color grading that you want to copy over, um, that's not going to work very well, especially if you do some keyframes with your grading. Uh, so what I like to do is to actually create a compound clip. Okay, we'll create that. And then what we'll do is just copy it, and then we will paste it. Move this over here. All right, so we pasted it, and then I'm going to put it next to each other, and then I'm going to reverse it. So go back in here to clip speed, and I'm going to do reverse speed. All right, and now we have these two clips you can see where it starts right above the uh, building goes up and then it returns um, um, back to the, the starting point so all we have to do now is to uh, render this clip and then Instagram will automatically keep this going back and forth and back and forth. what you want to do before you render it is you go into the deliver tab and you want to make sure there's no spaces here. So I'm going to start this thing right as the picture comes on. And I'm going to set this so that it, that's my starting point. And then I'm going to end right before it goes off. Okay, so right there. That way when it, Instagram loops it, there's no gaps. Okay, so all you have to do now, render this and you should be good to go. Uh, one thing, if you've got any questions on how to set this scaling for the Instagram vertical videos, or if you have questions on how to upload an Instagram video, I'm going to leave a, a link here in the card up above or in the description below so that you can uh, see the other tutorial on how to do that. Okay? Well, if you have any questions, please leave a, a comment below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe. Peace. <laughs>